These are the tools you'll need to mount your quick release bracket. All the parts come with the quick release bracket, all your Allen keys and your nuts and bolts. So you'll need an Allen key, a Phillips head screwdriver to remove your side plates and a 10 mil spanner to hold the nuts on the other side of the Allen key. First of all, we need to remove the side covers. This is the plate that goes onto the bottom of your motor for your quick release bracket. There's one part already on your boat, which is the small bit in here. This taper here has to fit in with that. So your recesses for your bolts need to go on the bottom. The bracket will actually go on the motor this way. Take your plate, lift your motor like this, slide your plate under it. There are six bolt holes in the plate and six bolt holes in the motor. There is no need to drill any holes. Everything will line up. The hole here matches the hole in your bracket. There's your middle one and there's your end one on that side. Now we're going to start with the middle hole first. Now this clip that comes in the kit goes either on the left hand side or the right hand side depending which one you would like it to go. So this bar locks into it which holds everything together. Just slide him in, line the holes up, up from underneath, put your nut on. Now the trick is don't over tighten this, you'll squash it. That's all it needs. Your other centre one, everything lines up. Right, now it's only a matter of just inserting the last of the bolts. I'll just put them all through and do them up at once. Right, so now we're just going to put the covers back on. Back one first, the front cover. The other side, same procedure. Now this is the other part of the bracket that's fixed to your boat. You can mount it yourself, or you can have it professionally mounted. Just make sure the bracket is level. So now it's only a matter of lifting your motor up. It'll centre itself onto your bracket. The bar that comes in the kit, just poke it through the two holes at the side, which will line up with the ones inside. You might need to give it a bit of wiggle. Just push it till it locks into the clip. To stow your motor, it's only a matter of pushing down on the handle at the back, pull the motor up, push down again, and as you pull the motor backwards, when the motor engages the front there, just pull it back, push up on that, and it'll lock in very easy. Slide your depth collar down and lock it off so that there's no chance for jumping out.